So yeah, it can be hard sometimes to put those broken pieces back together. I know I get so frustrated when I break my Legos and I forget the instruction manual and uh, it's so hard to put them back together. So frustrating. But thankfully in life, the Bible actually teaches a lot about putting broken pieces back together, which is awesome because right now we get to go into our Bible breakdown with Matt. Some of my favorite video games are the Lego ones. Lego Batman, Lego Indiana Jones, Lego Avengers. All of them are super cool. Not only can you play some great characters, but you can also build all kinds of cool things. I mean, sometimes you walk up to something broken and all you have to do is hold down a button and it just fixes like that. Once it's rebuilt, you get to use whatever it is you just fixed. Well, maybe it's a vehicle to help you get around the game faster. Either way, it's cool to see all those broken pieces come together and become whole again. And that's really what the Bible means when it talks about peace. Peace means something is whole. It's not broken. I mean, maybe something was broken, but now that you know Jesus, it's fixed, or at least it's being fixed. The power of peace that you can unlock because of Jesus is amazing. I know there are times when I feel sad or even a little scared, but even when I feel that way, well, there's still this something in my heart, in my mind, and it keeps me from totally freaking out. Something that holds me together. That's the peace of God. That's the power of Jesus, the power that he gives his followers. It's not just feeling peaceful, like, oh, I feel calm or it's quiet. Well, it can, it can be that, but it's more than that. In the Bible, Jesus was actually talking to his followers about peace right before he died. So this is crazy. Jesus knows he's about to be arrested. He's about to be beaten and then executed. And he's talking about having peace. He's like, hey man, everything's gonna be fine. No worries. But his followers are really worried and they don't understand why Jesus isn't worried. Well, it's because Jesus is filled with power, the power of the Holy Spirit of God. And that power sees what's wrong in the world and says, no big deal. Jesus can put all that back together. That's what Jesus does. He puts things back together. He makes them whole again. Even though Jesus did die, remember, he came back to life. That's why we can have peace and wholeness inside when we face terrible things like death because we know Jesus is way more powerful than death. Not even death can take away his power. That's why Jesus said that no one can take away the peace that he gives his followers. Now, I know there are a lot of broken things in this world, and there might be a lot of broken things in your life, but if you continue to trust Jesus, if you follow him, you talk to him in prayer, you read your Bible, you spend time with other Christians like here at church, when you give Jesus your whole life, he can give you a whole life. He will put you back together and make you whole, no matter what you've been through or what you're going through. It's not easy, but I promise Jesus can fix anything. And the best part is not only that Jesus fixes you, but his power also moves through you to help fix others. Now, Jesus is ultimately doing the fixing part, but we all get to be a part of it. And there might be some people in your life that really need some peace right now. I mean, you never know what other people are going through and you could really help them. You could talk to them about how awesome Jesus is and tell them how Jesus has made your life better. Guys, when the power of Jesus lives in you, you can't help but share that power with others. It's like unlocking a cool ability in a video game. I mean, you just want everybody to see it. So let's stay connected to Jesus so we can have peace in our lives and share that same peace with others. And always remember, when you know Jesus, you can unlock his power. Yes, that's awesome. Jesus can put anything back together. So let's spend some time in our groups talking about that. So have a great week. And remember, when you know Jesus, you can unlock his power.